It's recording, right? Welcome. Today here at Exclusive Auto Works, this is Scotty, the main detailer, and today we're working on a CT4 Blackwing, which is a radiant red. We got it straight right off of the dealership, our Concourse highest tier package. This is called the Seacourt's Finest Reserve. Do before we prep the car. Obviously, we're gonna unwrap it. Any words, Christy? You got this. Thank you. Here we go. All right, Kevin, let's go. See me? Yeah. I saw the spider. We finished cleaning all the wheels, so now what we'll be doing is rinsing the entire vehicle. We'll start off with the jams, because if you come closer, the jams is one of the dirtiest part of the vehicles. You can see some of the browning within the creases, and even over here on top of the windshield wipers, you can see a lot of dirt that has built up from delivering the car. So we'll do the jams, then we'll do the body, and then we'll use a pH neutral soap, which is CarPro Reset. We filled up the gallon halfway with just fresh water. Now we'll be using four caps. We're just using two microfibers and for each panel, we'll just do one side and then we'll flip it over and over. And then obviously once that's all done, we just take it inside out and flip it again and fold it into four. So what we're doing here is claying the car. We're using the clay mitt so that we don't have any marring or preventing some from coming onto the surface. So what I'm doing is squeezing out some of the soap. That way I have some lubrication and just clean over it. And the purpose of this is just so that we can remove any type of contamination on top of the cart. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be picking up where Scotty left off. The car is completely dried off. Uh, so we did the full hand wash, decontamination, clay bar. It's now dry, ready for some paint correction. So I'm gonna show a few problem areas that I'm aware of. If you could see in the light here, you got some like etching in the paint, whether it's from junk being trapped under that film. We got some scratching in here, just easy to see. Same up with the roof, some, whether it's like glue residue or more scratching here, but it's kind of all over the car. So we're gonna go around the entire vehicle, 
doing a full two-stage correction, which we will be using a microfiber finishing pad, as well as a foam pad with some essence, which will finish down um, any micro marring that we are putting in the paint by correcting it. So we got the car in the air after I thoroughly uh, towel dried all the jams out after blowing them out. Um, got the wheels off. So what we're gonna do here is, thankfully they're brand new, so there's not a ton of brake dust buildup, but I am still going to deep clean them to ensure that the surface is as clean as possible before we begin coating them to ensure the longest lasting install. Also, while I have the wheels off, I'm gonna go ahead and get the stickers off from in here. I'm gonna give it a good brush out to get any debris that the pressure washer didn't get out. And I'm also gonna clean and coat the uh, brake calipers. They are painted. They're very nice, good accent on the red. So we got massive ones in the front and some smaller ones in the back. And uh, yeah, just some small debris in here and whatnot to brush out before uh, throwing the wheels back on. But Next step, coating the wheels, getting those done back on the car so we can drop it, which will allow me to coat the body, coat the glass, give it its final wipe down and work on that interior. Now after we've finished coating the wheels, we're up to coating the paint of the car. So I'm using C Quartz Finest Reserve. And then what I do is I give it a shake. And then I drop it onto the microfiber. Um, I like to keep it a little moist because I'm going to be doing a large section. So I usually split the hood in half and then cross over that line. And then once you fully cross over to the middle, you just come in a different direction. So at first I went horizontal and then I ended vertically. And then I like coating panels in full. So what I'll do is finish coating the other half in one shot. So I'll just shake it again, do another drop. And then same technique, straight down and cross over. Once I reach the middle, same thing, go vertically. And then you let it sit for about a minute. And then what you wanna see is the car to start flashing. Now, I've did this side earlier 
And the reason why I did the other side is so that when I wipe it down, I could start wiping this section and then the other one cures and starts to flash. So we'll take a microfiber and I'll start wiping that one. And then this is not the last coat. So I can still use one microfiber. So I'll use one side to wipe it in. Just like that. It's not about putting pressure, but it's more about leveling the coating. You just wanna remove the flashing that you see. And then there should be a little bit of smudges from doing this. And now the car is finally coated. So what we're doing is baking it with the infrared lamp. Right now we're gonna go each section of the panel and get a coverage of 15 minutes per section. And then we'll go all around the car like that. So you can see it's been fully coated. The car is very glossy. And some of the markings that you've seen before we polish the car, obviously, out of the paint now so the paint looks a lot much richer and this is the proper way the black wing should look the wheels were also coated we took them off we took them back down to factory spec and then we put them back on dropped it so hope you guys enjoyed watching the whole process of me installing ceramic coating on this car as you see from start to finish i worked on this car by myself you can't call me a liar. If you call me a liar, then your pants is on fire. Um, going forward, like, comment, share, subscribe, and definitely hit the notification bell for our next video. Peace.